Hi everyone, I just want to show you a quick little demo of an external touchscreen monitor controlling an iPad, which is running iPad OS, which is iOS 13. Now, here we have, oh, just one thing to, to mention. We made a video about nine years ago showing an iPad 4 getting controlled by an external monitor, but that required a jailbroken device but this is probably the first time that we have a demo of a, an iPad being controlled without a jailbreak. So, all right, to get started, what we have here is um, a lightning to HDMI adapter plugged into an iPad 6, and that's just directly mirroring. You can see there is a little bit of latency, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll explain that a bit more later. So, now as for the hardware, we have a, we have a 32 inch monitor, which is just a PC monitor. And on top of that, we have a custom sheet of glass with a special touch sensor behind the glass to magically enable the glass to be a touch screen. So this in itself is a touch screen monitor. So the touch screen has a USB output, which plugs into the Mi Mix G4. On the other end, we have a, a Bluetooth dongle. Now I've already, paired this and calibrated the touchscreen just to make this video a bit easier for me. So all we're going to do now is plug in the power and it's actually going to reconnect. So I'm going to go into settings. Um, I missed it. All right, you see it's not connected and after a few moments it's connected. Now you might have noticed some funny business going on but don't worry about that. It's all good. Now from now on, all right, so you go in here if you want to see me scroll there. Um, just to make sure that it's iOS 13, I'm not doing anything tricky, we can go into there and you can see it's actually beta 2. So, um, all right, now we can, um, we've got our side tiles here, which we can go up and down, we've got our top notification bar, we can uh, go into to Google, now, good old swipe, I can never get that right. Anyway, all right, we can, uh, just want to show you, we can go in this drawing app. Now, what you will see here, you'll notice that the cursor is trying to catch up to my finger, but if you look at the display, it's actually responding much faster than the display is reacting. Now, the cause of that is the lightning to HDMI adapter has about a 70 millisecond delay between showing the video on here and putting it on the screen. So that will technically appear as touch lag, when in actual fact it's display lag. Now to avoid that, if you have an iPad Pro with USB-C, the mirroring pretty much has zero latency from what I've seen. So uh, just to continue, we can just clear that, go back home, and that swipe up gesture is just a standard iPad, iPad gesture. So we can say play some Angry Birds, you can see I've been playing it before, I've got to practice for this video, you know. So, alright, all good, one more, oh yeah, you beauty, yes, I am Australian, if you didn't know, alright, so we can get out of this, and um, yeah, just another thing I want to mention is, you'll notice that we have some black bars, which is called letterboxing, on each side of the screen, and that's a, that's due to the the display being a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, whereas the iPad is a 4 by 3. Now we have hardware that can actually make it appear full screen, if you if you prefer that. But anyway, for this demo, this is more than adequate. So um, yeah, so you'll notice once I disconnect it, it'll um, it'll disconnect again. Oh, all right, I can't touch it because I've unplugged it. <laughs> um, all right, you can just see now when we plug it back in. I can find the plug. After a few moments again, it'll, it'll connect and that's it. We can get out of that and back to business. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. So, oh yeah, well that's the, the iPad metal touching the touch screen. So, and you can see how fast it was, which is good. So I hope you enjoyed that video and um, 
check out the new Minix G4 update.